Carlton says, if I get a 10K secured card, can I use plastic to do velocity banking? Well, think about that. Does that make sense? Usually plastic comes in handy when I have a 0% credit card with a cash back reward option to offset plastics cost and a 0% intro period to store debt from one location to another on that credit card for the sake of saving interest, having a, a low monthly payment, and getting cash flow gains. If I get a secured credit card, if I'm asking that question, I'm most, I most likely don't have good credit, don't have a personal line of credit or HELOC in place, so maybe I'm at the starting grounds of my personal finances, getting a secure credit card instead of a secured line of credit. Um, when we're using plastic, usually you only use it for things that cannot be paid with a credit card. So again, if, if I have this secure credit card, I use plastic to avoid the credit card's balance transfer fee or whatever. 2.5% is what plastic charges, I think. Someone can correct me on that, I'm not too sure. But um, if that's the case, I got to pay 2.5% to plastic. Then if I can get the cash back rewards on the credit card, which most secure credit cards, I don't normally see cash back rewards on them. I normally don't see that. But um, if there is, let's say there is 1%, 2%, your, your help offsetting that cost, whatever you shifted, Secured cards don't come with 0% intro period, so whatever you shift, you now have to factor in how much interest am I going to pay by doing that, and was that smart? So I don't know if I would, I don't know if I love that idea. <laughs>